Women of CTV with Adam Hinchwood, head of St Albans Away. Uh, Adam, just looking back on the last weekend, it was pretty busy. Uh, Dartford away, uh, Eastbourne Borough at home as well on the Monday. Any lessons been learned from those couple of games? Yeah, I think we've said plenty from both games. Obviously, two tough tests. Um, but yeah, just looking at how we can improve. And I think in both games, we didn't really create a great deal of chances. And more so against Dartford, we were a bit wasteful when we did get into good areas. And yeah, same, similar against Eastbourne. I thought there was times it was 1v1 and we didn't make enough of them and, and stuff like that. So, you know, lots more um, to come in terms of creating more chances um, in the final third. That's got to be the emphasis, really. Um, on what we can focus on because um, we've probably had quite a bit of ball in both games but you know, didn't utilise that into creating nowhere near enough. Away from home, the record's been very good actually for uh, creating chances for um, for scoring goals as well so just looking to build on that um, from the start of the season? Yeah, I don't know why that, that might be the case. Maybe teams sort of open up a little bit more when they're home and come at you and the game's a bit more into end maybe but um, no, yeah, just... Uh, Similar sort of aim, really. Um, try to, you know, play attacking football, score, and create lots of chances. And you know, we haven't been able to do that for whatever reason. And um, yeah, we'll have a look at a couple of bits tonight that we feel that we can Im improve on. Um, and yeah, we'll have to try and put it right for Saturday. St Albans, they've got off to a pretty decent start. Actually, they're not too far below us. Um, they've won a couple of games, drawn a couple. Uh, last time out, they won two on at Tunbridge. What are you expecting from them? Uh, it seemed quite a defensively sound team from what I've seen of their results. Is, is that what would you expect from the game? No, yeah, it's uh, similar sort of from what we've seen. I don't think you know in terms of what we've come up against, um, all the teams have been relatively relatively similar. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a hard fought game, a physical physical test for us. Um, one we're going to have to move the ball quickly. It's quite a Nice big pitch there, so you know that might suit us. Um, trying to create some spaces, and yeah, it's just um, you know you've got to be at your best, and we're gonna to have to improve on you know our last couple of performances. To get anything there, be very buoyant after winning their last game, and be looking to go on a run and really you know establish themselves in the top of, top half of the of the league um, like they've done last year. So um, yeah, real another good test, um, but. You know that's that's what we want. Um, you know us having to be at our best week in week out and keeping focused, and that's going to be the the main aim really going into Saturday. Yeah, so where we've been before um, a couple of years ago in the FA Cup. Any memories from that game in particular? Um, just the last minute uh, goal that we got, and remember Finn was on the bench, Stevens, and he was hurling down um, to go and celebrate with everybody. Only like 16 at the time, but you know really felt part of part of the group and. Yeah, it was good. Good memory. I thought we performed quite well on the day. Um, you know, probably a bit disappointed to come away with a two all draw. I think it was. Um, but yeah, good. Good memories. But it's a real tough, tough place to go. Uh, like I say, it's a really big pitch there. Um, so yeah, we know we've gonna have to be at our best uh, to get anything from from the fixture. Yeah, good memories of that day, uh, especially from behind the goal as well. Um, and just looking ahead to Saturday as well, any injury news at all? Obviously Lewis White's been out for the last couple of games. Quite a few people want to know about uh, where he's at for, with his uh, progress. Is, is there anyone out or available? No, yeah, Lewis hopefully be doing a full session tonight. So, you know, hoping Touchwood will be um, available for selection. Um, he's tweaked his hamstring coming on against Weymouth. Um, so yeah, he's had a few problems with that in, in the past. So we'll have to monitor that. Um, but other than that, I've Hoping for a, a clean bill of health to, to choose from, obviously, uh, other than Jake. Um, uh, yeah, everybody else is, is pretty much back on the men. Luke Robinson's hopefully going to be in a full session, but probably won't be available for selection for this weekend. But um, yeah, other than those those lads, um, yeah, hope to have Lewis added to, to, the, to the group we've got. Coming off of quite a busy schedule actually with those two games at the weekend, was there any issues with ring rust or a few of the players been a bit leggy or is that all? Yeah, we'll, we'll have to look at that tonight, um, see how everybody's shaping up. Um, obviously there'll be players that have played Saturday, Monday which wouldn't have been used to it so it's how they are as well and how they feel. Um, but yeah, I believe we've rotated the squad quite well up to now. Um, everyone's had you know, good good minutes and we try to 
keep it as fresh as we can. So um, we'll try and do the same going into Saturday.